The mist has expanded. The timelines have twisted, and the line between reality and nightmare blurs once more. This has brought something never before seen to the mist. Meet the boss. Jun Inagaki, you know him as the quarterback, but this isn't him. After losing his brother, he fell completely into his life of crime and became a husk of the man he once was. The boss's active ability is two punch. The boss starts the round of his crowbar in hand, allowing him to lunge longer at the cost of lunging slower. His crowbar attacks have a bigger hitbox as well. However, activating two punch will briefly speed the boss up and allow him to wield his other weapon, his brass knuckles. His brass knuckles allow him to lunge quicker and shorter, reducing his recovery time while active. Hitting a survivor with the brass knuckles will give him another burst of speed, allowing him to hunt down his next victim with ease. Hitting a survivor with his crowbar will apply a debuff that slows generator repair speed slightly. The boss's passive is blood money, simple but effective. Killing survivors grants him a stack. Every stack reduces his detection cooldown by three seconds. There's nowhere to run, and there's nowhere to hide. But the boss doesn't come alone. Alongside him is Sung Quan, the Possessed. Like her survivor counterpart, the Possessed failed to successfully commune with her grandmother. But instead of summoning the ghost known as Kiara Cruz, she summoned something much more sinister. The Possessed's active ability is Soul Fire. The Possessed can drop down a Soul Fire Orb, which emits the ghastly whispers of the spirit realm. For up to 15 seconds, the Possessed can recast this ability to quickly teleport back to its position. Teleporting will cancel any attacks in progress, so make sure to teleport and then attack to use this ability to its full effect. There is a brief slow alongside both a visual and audio effect after teleporting. The Possessed's passive ability is Whispers from Beyond. When the Possessed detects a survivor, they are cursed for 60 seconds. Cursed survivors emit a ghastly trail and cursed whispers. If the possessed kills or downs a cursed survivor, she gains a stack. After reaching three stacks, she completely hides her terror radius for 30 seconds. Although her red light is visible, survivors will need to be wary if they don't want to meet their end at her claws. The upcoming survivors blend the familiar with the new. One new survivor is Anais Desir, the CEO of the accounting firm Ren Harris works at. With her perk, Complete Control, she'll make sure the killers know they're playing under her rules. After completing 10% of a generator, Anais can mark that gen as controlled. If the killer kicks a controlled gen, it will not regress, but instead add 10% and block itself from being kickable for 20 seconds. Anais can work well with her subordinate, Ren Harris. Loving husband and would-be father, Ren Harris's life was one of ups and downs, but unlike his killer counterpart, he never had the chance to lose his children. Ren's perk, Menial Work, allows him to prove himself as the round progresses. Ren will gain a stack of Menial Work upon hitting a successful skill check. Missing a skill check will reset his stacks, however, so he'll have to be cautious if he doesn't want to lose it all. And who better to know about losing it all than his wife? Tabitha Harris, a kind-hearted woman who wanted nothing more than to be a mother. Tabitha Harris felt as though the universe was against her. Tabitha's perk, Maternal Instinct, allows her to keep a close watch on her team and help coordinate revives. When a survivor is downed, 
All survivors are revealed to each other for 13 seconds, and Tabitha has her breathing and footsteps greatly reduced for 16 seconds. When she picks up a survivor, she reveals the killer to anyone in a 12 stud radius for 6 seconds. If she performs a safe rescue, she will reveal the killer to herself again. With Tabitha around, your party will always have eyes on the killer. And what's a party without our resident party girl, Kiara Cruz? A night out with the girls saved Kiara from her fate, but something worse took its place. Kiara's perk is Life of the Party, and it allows her to grow stronger as she sticks with others. For each survivor within 28 studs of Kiara, she gains a stack, up to 3 max. Each stack grants her 0.45 move speed, 0.75 bonus repair speed, and a 33% chance to not be detected. At max stacks, Kiara is completely undetectable. In this strange new world, survivors and killers alike seemingly cross over and break all the rules we've known so far. As the timelines continue to twist, who knows where we'll go?